Welcome to Fusion 360's What's New for Design and Engineering, July 2021. For this release, we've got some exciting updates to the ruled surface command, new functionality for assembly references, new additive symmetry constraints for generative, and biggest of all, a brand new set of mesh tools is on deck to help work with STLs, OBJs, and 3MF files. Let's jump in and take a closer look. Before we get too deep in this month's update, I wanted to make sure everyone was aware of a change that was made to how we save STL files. You may be used to right-clicking on a body or component in the browser and selecting Save as STL. Because of some new mesh tools, there's a new save functionality that also includes 3MF output. If you're looking for STL or 3MF, they are under the Save as Mesh command in the right-click menu. The functionality isn't any different for STLs, we just added 3MF as a possible output type. More on the new mesh tools in a few. The ruled surface command gets a nice update this release with a new miter option for drafted surfaces. When the surfaces you are building from meet at an angle, the previous behavior was to build in a curved transition, an auto fill it, if you will. With this new release, you're able to keep the sharp corner with the new miter option. This makes maintaining G2 fillets across the A side of a part much simpler. And oh yeah, in case you missed it with the May release, the surface analysis tools are here as well. Next up, we have some performance enhancements to patterning tools. The most immediate thing you'll notice is the speed of the preview for complex patterns. There is also some under the hood performance boost to the selection and cancel functions. This is the first step in a whole bunch of enhancements coming to patterns in the near future. Stay tuned for updates on these tools. When it comes to assemblies, we're excited to announce new assembly reference functionality within Fusion 360. This function allows you to bring in references from a larger assembly into a part so that context can be maintained. This means being able to work on a single external part with references, like sketch projections, from the assembly that the part goes into. This one gets a little deep, so I encourage you to check out the learning content to get up to speed. For generative design, we have two updates to bring you this release. First off, the symmetry constraint has been enabled for additive manufacturing. Second, the metadata from the results view is now exportable as a CSV for downstream post-processing. It's worth noting that the sliders in the results view that affect the recommended outcomes will also affect the recommendation score in the CSV file. The CSV data is a snapshot of the explore screen at the time of the export. Last but definitely not least is the new release of Mesh. This new workspace marks the graduation of our Mesh tools from preview status to public release. You will notice that there's now a Mesh tab that is persistent across both parametric and direct editing modes. While in parametric mode, that is history turned on, you will now see that the mesh commands are parametric themselves and can be found and edited in the timeline. This makes tweaking operations a breeze. There are a whole slew of new tools and functions in the mesh workspace as well, but I'll hit a few of my favorites here. First off, we can now import multiple mesh files simultaneously. This is a nice function if you're working with assembly meshes where the mesh files are oriented about the same origin and need to maintain their spatial references to one another. Next up we have new mesh repair tools. These crazy powerful repair functions are the exact same tools as those found in NetFab. Speaking of which, if you were a previous user of the NetFab online model repair service, it has now been retired and those functions are included in the mesh workspace inside Fusion. Once you've imported and cleaned up any meshes, there's a wide variety of new tools to use including plane cut, combine operations, and even a shell command. Fusion 360 commercial subscribers also get access to a new prismatic feature recognition tool. That's right, this new tool allows you to take an existing mesh file and convert it to a normal solid. Round faces are round too. Check out this subwoofer enclosure from Thingiverse. With just a few clicks we can deliver clean CAD geometry. There's much more to the new parametric mesh environment and we're working hard on learning content to get you up to speed. Some of the self-guided learning is available Check the description below to get started, and new content is being delivered all the time. That's the high points from the July 2021 release of Fusion 360 for design and engineering. As always, there's more detail on the blog, as well as in the electronics and manufacturing videos which are linked below. Thanks for hanging out, and be sure to check out the new possible podcast. Episode 5 features the CEO of One Click Metal discussing how to scale a tech startup. Oh yeah, one final comment. Now until July 30th, 2021, Fusion 360 subs and extensions are 30% off. Now's a great time to snag unlimited generative design studies with the generative design extension, 
uplevel your CNC game with the machining extension, or get your PLM on with the manage extension. Check out the link below for more information.